Hey folks, Ray from Love You RV. Uh, as Christmas approaches, many people might be wondering what to gift the avid RVers in their life, or maybe what to put down on your old Santa wish list yourself. So over the years, I've been lucky enough to see some awesome stuff from my lovely wife Anne, and a few self gifts here and there. So this year I decided to share 10 of my favorites, things that have proved most useful to us. And as you'll see, many have stood the test of time. So I've also made a blog post, so if you want to go and look at each in more in depth, um, I'll give you a link below the video. So let's get going. First up uh, is an ambient Wi-Fi weather station. So we've been using this about a year now and the weather station's performed really well. Uh, this winter it's really helping me keep tabs on the internal humidity to keep the condensation at bay in the RV. You know, in the winter I don't want too much condensation inside the rig or I'll, it'll start to form on the windows and the walls and lead to mold and problems like that. So it's nice to be able to look at the, the station and make sure that that, that humidity is low. Um, also, uh, it's a, a Wi-Fi station. I, it also uploads to an online weather page that I can share with the public so family and friends can kind of see what the weather's like right at our RV. Next, we have the tire pressure monitoring system that I got. Uh, I've had this for a number of years now. I went out without a tire pressure monitor for quite a while because they are pretty expensive, but now that I have it, I don't think I'd want to be without one. Um, it's a kind of a daunting task choosing what brand to go with, so I asked uh, my YouTube audience for some recommendations and received a ton of feedback. In the end, I settled on the Easy Tire TPA MS. Uh, it had good reviews on Amazon, but most importantly, several of my RV buddies used and liked the product, and they had fifth wheels similar to my Keystone Cougar, so I've had zero problems with that, and it's uh, really given me peace of mind when I'm on the road. Uh, it'll it'll tell me if the tire pressure is getting low or if, uh, if anything is overheating with the tire or the wheel. Next, uh, Viair portable air compressor. So I made do with a cheapy air compressor. I think it was called a slime <laughs> air compressor, but it was really loud and it took forever to air up the tire. So I always wanted to get what's called a Viair air compressor. They're kind of one of the gold standards in air compressors, portable air compressors that run off of 12 volts. So uh, um, Anne surprised me one year Christmas uh, with uh, their top model for RVers, the 450P. And I've been really happy with that. And that I can go around and air up all my uh, RV tires and my truck tires all in one go. It has a 100% duty cycle and can run for 40 minutes straight. So that's great. Uh, next we have a Garmin RV GPS. <clears throat> so uh, this I uh, got, well, it must be about five years ago now from Anne. And it's been great. Uh, it's got a nice big display, uh, which I like. But um, the main reason I like it is it's got kind of a matte finish to the, to the display. So it doesn't matter how bright it is, I can always see it very clearly. Now you can use your phone or tablets, but I find the reflections can, can be a problem, especially on sunny days actually see in the display, whereas the Garmin has a nice clear display all the time. Also, it's meant for RVing. So it's, uh, you can put in your RV dimensions and it's supposed to guide you around uh, obstacles and things and give you the right route so that you're not taking your big tall RV under a little bridge or anything like that but you know as with anything to do with these GPS's things are always changing so you can't 100% trust it but I found it's a very useful thing to have. Um, also it has built-in uh, data for RV parks and campgrounds, local attractions, fuel stops and it shows the speed of the vehicle on it, which I like uh, because it knows all the speed zones. So when I go through little towns, it tells me if I miss the sign and what the speed zone is, it'll tell me if I'm speeding or not. And finally, the, the model I got um, has a lifetime maps update. So um, I have free updates for the life of the unit, which is nice because the uh, streets change, you know, they change the traffic lights or they put in a traffic circle. So every once in a while I download their update and that updates all the maps for me. Next we have a RV lock entrance door handle, another gift from my lovely wife, wife Anne. And uh, this takes the place of the keyed entry and gives you a, a push button entry. So you just put in a code 
to unlock the the RV door, which is great. I don't have to worry about carrying keys around and having groceries in in my hand or something, trying to fumble in my pockets for a key. Uh, I found the batteries in it last about uh, eight to twelve months. Um, I don't use the actual key fob that came with it, so I can turn that off and it saves a bit of power. Um, also, I, the biggest gripe I had with it was the actual loud beeps it made, but uh, I was alerted by a com couple of commenters that you just hold the, the, the one key down for a few seconds and then it goes to silent mode. So after that, everything was fine. And it's lasted pretty good so far. I've had it on there a couple of years now. Next is a trimetric uh, battery monitor system. This was kind of a self-gift to myself, probably I think about four or five years ago as well. Actually, Christmas 2015. Um, it's made in the USA. Um, it's been working fine, no problems. Uh, it's not as uh, fancy as some of these newer ones are out there now with uh, Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff, but uh, it's been a solid, solid unit and worked really well. And recently I've actually added their uh, Wi-Fi add-on so I can now look on my, my phone and get data off of it without seeing, seeing the actual display itself. Uh, next, uh, kind of in the same genre, is the Renogy uh, solar panels. I, I got the kit um, way back in 2014. I started out my solar system with two of the 100 watt Renogy panels and they're still going strong no problem they haven't even really reduced in output and since then i've actually added uh, five more of the energy panels up to 700 watts of them um, they're just a good good solid panel and no problem there i think they're a really good uh, value for the money i think renergy's always had a, a fairly decent product you know dollar for dollar i've also added recently their uh, 40 amp dc to dc charger to the mix so a lot of my boondocking systems have been built with the, the Renogy products. Next, this was just uh, recently last year. Uh, I had a, always had a flagpole for my rig going way back. I kind of like to fly a flag, especially down in the desert or whatever. It's just a fun thing to do. Also kind of helps me find the rig, especially if it's in a crowded area where there's a lot of people boondocking. I can always find mine. Or if people are coming to visit me, I just say, oh, look for the the happy face flag that's me over there um, so when I got the weather station for a man um, I needed uh, uh, to use the old flagpole mount for the weather station and it was the old flagpole was getting a little ratty so I went out uh, to Quartzsite uh, the big RV show and bought myself the new flagpole buddy it was about $139 so pretty pricey but it was 22 footer and uh, I was really impressed with the, the pole and the hardware, and it's, it's held up quite well. So I really like that new flagpole. And just this year for my birthday, a couple more gifts from my lovely wife, Anne. <laughs> she got uh, me the Outland Fire Bowl. Um, especially this winter, we've been using it quite a bit with the, with the cool days and nights. So we can sit outside and have a little <clears throat> bit of a... Uh, heat and a little kind of ambiance of the fire. Uh, I researched it and it's a really uh, well-reviewed fire bowl and a lot of people seem to, to say it, it stands up to the test of time so we'll see how it goes but so far it's been working well. And then finally she got me the Country Smoker Travel Grill. This was a total surprise, kind of a bonus uh, birthday present. It's kind of, I think it's going to morph into a Christmas present too. She kind of said, oh, kind of early Christmas present because it, it wasn't super cheap. It was, I think it was about $3.49 Canadian, but uh, I've always wanted to, to have a smoker. Uh, this one's a portable type smoker. It runs on a, the... the it runs on wood pellets, but it has elect electronic kind of electric ignition to to fire them up and, and a little controller box. So it draws a little bit of uh, electricity, but I'll still be able to use it boondocking. And so far, I've made a number of uh, yummy meals on it, including a, a really nice pork loin. So uh, really enjoying that. That was one of my favorite new gifts that I got. Anyway, that's the, the 10 products that have been my favorite uh, gifts over the years. Um, if you have any recommendations, uh, Christmas coming coming up, so I need new ones to put on my old wish list. <laughs> Just leave them in the comments below. Till next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, everyone, and uh, Merry Christmas coming up. <laughs>